Good morning, everyone, and welcome to City Church Clan. I am so happy to see all of you here in person and online. My name is Bella, and I'm your host for today. We are going to start our celebration in just a few moments with our worship team. If you are here online, please join us in our praise and worship. Make this time a special moment for you and your loved ones. And be sure to engage with us. We want to see you singing out loud with us in the comments. Yes, good moments should be shared. Please like this live video and be a blessing to your family and friends by sharing this wonderful worship experience on your Facebook page. Before we begin, please join me in this short prayer. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day and thank you for everything you have given us. And please bless the people that are online and here at church. And please guide us and lead us to the right way you taught us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Are you guys ready? Let's pass this time to our worship team to lead us in a powerful time of worship. Are you guys ready? Come on, let's stand. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to church.
church and we will keep focus our eyes on you, O oh Lord. We will always look to you. No matter what happens, O oh Lord, our eyes will keep focusing on you, O oh Lord. Today, O oh Lord, we just want to come today. Just want to put down everything else and we, wish, we just want to focus on you alone, O oh God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. God, I look to you, I won't be overwhelmed, give me vision to see things like you do. God, I look to you, you're where my help comes from, give me wisdom. You know just what to do. from the start.
never and ever it's not so much our love for him as much as his love for us and that's what we want to focus on the death the burial the resurrection and the ascension of Jesus and he's right now seated at the father beside the father and you know what in Revelation even in Revelation when God took John up to heaven and showed him what heaven is doing and you know what they portray Jesus as a lamb of God Jesus is the Lamb of God and we know that Jesus is going to come back as Christ, the King, the Lord, the ruler of the earth. But God wants us to always look to Jesus as the Lamb of God. How much He loves you, how much He sacrificed for you, how much He has given to you. And so today, we are joining heaven in worshipping our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. They were already worshipping before we started our worship. Even before you practice for the worship That forever and ever and ever in heaven They are worshipping Jesus Our wonderful, great and mighty God And He's here right now I want your focus to be on Jesus right now And He's here And we are a church A church that prays with one another A church that cares for one another And so if there's any need that is right now While we are in the presence of God In the atmosphere of faith If there's anyone you have needs Please come forward Is there anybody? Just bring your friends If your friend is here with you Bring them forward for prayer We have the leaders here Going to pray with you Alright Just step forward And we're going to all join together And pray for you As well as pray with each other Alright Amen So right now Yes Anyone Just come walk forward uh, just not your friend maybe Do you have a need? Come forward You know, God's here God is here to meet your needs And God's here to touch you Every single one, okay God will not bypass you Every child as well Every young person I want you to know that you are welcome To come to the front for prayer Anyone, just quickly bring them forward Right, leaders, please come as well We are here to pray for one another This is prayer time We don't want you to just look around Amen Hallelujah So open your mouth And let's pray together Let's pray together If there's nobody Pray right now Pray Open your mouth and pray Hallelujah Hallelujah Okay Wonderful That's one Come on Leaders come forward Pastors come Yes Hallelujah Just pray Hallelujah Come on Yes Hallelujah Hallelujah We worship you Jesus Hallelujah Come on Sing it Sing it Hallelujah Come on, everybody, pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray right now. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, God. We worship you, oh, God. Come on, worship Jesus. Pray and worship him with all your heart. Come on, I want you to take this one minute, just turn to somebody and pray for them. Will you do that? This is the time of prayer. We will turn to somebody and pray for them. Pray for anybody that you feel. Feel that God's moved you to pray for anyone. This is family right now. And every visitor who is here, we welcome you. And we want you to know that you are loved here. You are welcome here. And begin to pray for them. Just lay hands on them and pray with them. Hallelujah. The presence of God is here so strong. The anointing of God is here. As we worship Jesus, He's here to show up, hallelujah, in great power. Just, just stretch out and pray for somebody. I'm so happy to see children praying for each other, young people praying for each other. Yes, hallelujah. Come on, turn around and pray for someone else. Yes, oh God. Yes, yes, hallelujah. Praise, praise to you forever and ever, hallelujah. Victory is ours, hallelujah. 
victory is ours. Breakthrough is ours. Come on, lay hands on somebody and pray with them. Hold their hands and pray with them. You have the power. You have that authority. Hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus. We cry out to you. There is no one greater. There is no one higher than the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. We worship that name. We speak that name. We declare and pray in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, God. Hallelujah. Come on, turn around and pray for somebody. Be bold. Yes, hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Glory, glory, glory. Nothing is impossible. To those who believe, nothing is impossible. God is reigning. God is victor. Hallelujah. Worship you. We worship you. Hallelujah. everyone if you have just joined us my name is Bella and welcome to C3 Church Clang I would like to take a moment at this part of our service and take up today's offering if you are new here the offering is simply a chance to financially support what we are doing it's also something God our Heavenly Father has called us to do as an act of trust you may have never thought of giving as an act of trust but it is when you give you're basically telling God, I trust that you will provide for me even as I give. And the great part about this statement of trust is that it's true. God can be trusted to sustain you even though you have a little bit less. We learn to trust and lean on God to provide for our needs. Giving helps us let go our hold on money and the benefits that we can provide for ourselves. Giving helps us release the anxiety and place our trust in Him. Matthew 6 says, Our Heavenly Father already knows all your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, and He will give you everything you need. Matthew 6 verse 32 to 33 For all of you here in church, our stewards will be passing the buckets around. If you would like to participate in today's offering, you can put something in the bucket. Please do give generously. If you wish to give online, scan the Do It Now QR codes located on the wall. If you are watching our service from your screens, just scan the QR code shown here. Or if you are watching our service from your mobile phones, our bank details are displayed on the screen. Take a screenshot and save the details for giving online later. Thank you so much for your generosity in working with us for the glory of His Kingdom. 
There's a lot happening at our church, so let me take you through a few announcements. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Make sure to stay connected with us throughout the week online at C3 Church Clang on Facebook and Instagram. We believe God has something unique to say to you and our hope is that you feel His love stronger today than ever before. Thanks again for being here with us. Back to you, worship team. Bella, good morning, church. How's everyone doing? Really well? Good. All right, great. I'm doing all right as well. <laughs> and okay, so uh, why I'm up here today is I'm sharing with you that we've just, uh, today is actually a membership uh, day and we just want to introduce our a new people into the new, in, our, in the family in C3 Clank here as well as KL because we are one body. And just before that, uh, we also have conducted a water baptism for these new members and, bef and because of that we just want to showcase the, uh, the water baptism video on that day that we did so Bella take it away okay 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 I'm about to have a good day no matter what they say sun is shining down on me I'm getting baptized today is to cleanse whatever wrong and sins that I've done and choose the right path and lead the path that God has laid for me. This opportunity came up and I decided to grasp it. So I hope that this can build a good and strong base too. This is Samuel. Jennifer was the first. <laughs> I want to get closer to God and I realize that he's a good person. Sun is shining down on me. But I to see me That's why I'm glad your dad and mom came because it is not by our authority but by your parents' authority. 
we are baptizing you. I grew up to be a pastor and I want to follow Jesus. Pray for the coming late. I got all I need and I didn't have to wait. Ask me in the Give it up. All right, that's great. We want to just, uh, before, okay, before that, we want to welcome up uh, Pastor Stella as well so that she can pass the certificates to these new members. Okay, okay. So, yeah. I need this the thing you check where's the certificates is actually not here. Sorry, there's some, yeah, it's alright. There's some technical mishaps here. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> no worries. Yes, okay. Great. No worries. Okay, so uh, I will just call up the names of our new members. Uh, I think the first ones will be the ones who have taken the baptism, so that's easier, all right? The first one, we'll give it up to... The pastor, you know, stand here? Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. We want to welcome up Samuel Benjamin Dawson. Where are you? Give you have a pen. All right, second, we'll have Paul Lim Tian Pao. Okay, then we have Jennifer Karen Doss. So you take a picture and then you just stand nearby, no worries. Okay, look at the camera. Yeah. All right. Kevin Paxton Doss Ramesh. There we have now Andrew Dawson. Right? Andrew Dawson. Yeah, this is the membership. Okay. Yeah, it's all together. Yeah, we can call up Andrew Dawson as well as Irene J. Benjamin. I'll just call Hannah Francisca. Agnes Ng Siung Yi. Yeah, look, don't forget to look at the camera. <laughs> yeah, okay, so now with everyone up here, we just want to have a group photo first. Quick one, all right? 
We pastor as well. Okay, yeah, once we pass. Okay, pastor. Give it up for one. Wait, wait, guys, haven't, we haven't gone yet. Yeah, but give it up for these amazing people who's just come into the family, all right? Okay. Yes. All right. And now, lastly, before we all let everyone go, we want to get everyone to stand up because we want to recite the membership covenant all together in unity, okay? Yep. Can we get everyone up? Everyone all together in the congregation as well? Because this is just, we want to get everyone on one vision, right? One mind, okay? So I will, uh, we all will go together. So as I start, we all just continue on together, all right? Yeah. So for, just follow on my lead, lah. Okay, so everyone ready? Okay. Having received Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, being baptized and being in agreement with C3 Clang and KL's vision, missions, goals, strategy, and structure. I now feel led by the Holy Spirit to unite with the C3 Clan KL Church family. In so doing, I commit myself to God and to other members to do the following. 1. I will protect the unity of the church by acting in love towards other members, by refusing to gossip, by following the leaders whom the church has set aside. 2. I will share the responsibility of my church by praying for its witness, ministry and growth, by inviting the unchurch to attend, by warmly welcoming those who visit. 3. I will serve the ministry of the church by discovering my gifts and talents, by being equipped to serve by my pastors and leaders, by developing a servant heart and attitude. For I will support the testimony of my church. I will be attending faithfully by living a godly life, by giving regularly. Thank you. Them. Let's stretch our hands towards these new members and let's pray for them right now. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Everyone praying for them, the God's blessing over them, God's covering over them, God's protection, God's favor, God's blessing in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for every single one of them that's joined themselves to this church. This is the local church and you said that you build the church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And so uh, together right now, we bless bless these people. We bless every single one of them for their families to thrive, for their relationships to thrive, for their jobs to thrive. Oh God, everything that they do, that they touch will thrive. The studies will thrive. The future destiny will thrive because we are in Christ Jesus. We belong to you and we belong to one body and the body of Christ Jesus. You are our head. You are our Lord. You are our King. As we are in your kingdom and we know that in your kingdom, there's nothing that the enemy can throw at us that can shall seek you will fall to the ground because your hand is upon every single one of them father thank you for the blood of jesus that redeems us that covers us that protects us and we know that as from this day forth as they go in and out of this church as they serve the people in this church as one body they are going to be blessed by you oh god blessed and anointed by you with great favor with great blessing with great influence let the lives ch change the environment and uh, uh, people around them let the lives make a difference in this in the in this time and in the in the in the communities because jesus you are lord over them hallelujah over our church as well that we will be one keep us as one that the power of unity of one spirit one heart will be the heart of our church c3 clang in jesus name we all pray amen, amen. hallelujah thank you so much yeah
Thank you. Okay, all of you can please be seated. All right, before everyone sees, right, let's you may do go. a quick welcome among each other before we invite speakers up. As we mentioned last week, we are a very warm, welcoming church. There's many hugs going on. <laughs> oh yeah. Are you ready for a message? <laughs> I hope you are ready for the message. Let's welcome a Pastor Stella on stage and also Albert. Welcome. We want to welcome Mr. and Mrs. Eddie Chia back. Yeah. Woo -woo. <laughs> <laughs> As husband and wife. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Stella. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Aren't you glad we're in the house of God? There's no other better place to be in than God's house. Thank you so much. Thank you, musicians. Please be seated. Well done. Well done. Well done. I'm so glad. I want to just mention a few people. Diana Tay, my very good friend. He's here back. Hallelujah. Hello, and there's some new people here as well. So pleased to hear that. We have some. Shamani. <laughs> yeah. And uh, also, what's that? Eric. Ah, you see, I can remember. And I uh, forgot. 
<laughs> Josephine's friend, Audrey, yes, welcome all of you uh, back to the house of God and you're bringing friends. I love this to be part of our church. There's such an atmosphere of family here. How good was last week when we had the I Love My Church campaign? Were you here? Oh, yeah. I watched it online and it was so good, huh? All the panelists, you are such fun people. <laughs> I wish I can put that uh, to interview everybody, but we won't have the time. But it's good that you get to share maybe with each other what this church means to you. I'm so glad my husband still has fire in his bones. Huh? <laughs> Last night, as he was putting out the clothes, you know, we always prepare ourselves before Sunday and say, I love Sunday. <laughs> I love Sunday. I love Sunday. I love church. I hope you feel the same, huh? <laughs> because we get together together as a church. And I was telling the Klang, uh, not Klang, I mean the KL last week when I was there for communion, I was sharing with them how, you know, when we get together, we need to focus on the fact that we as a church here is joined with the church in heaven together as one, <laughs> worshiping Jesus. 上星期我在基隆坡的时候呢，我在分享这个圣餐的时候，我跟基隆坡教会的弟兄姐妹们分享，这个教会这个的灵和上面这个天国的灵是要一致的，能够连接在一起。That's why Jesus said, "Pray, my kingdom come, my will be done on earth, even as it is in heaven." 就是所以为什么耶稣里面的祷告说，愿我的国降临，愿你的旨意行在行在行在地上，如同行在天上一样。that's right, we are joined with the church that is in already in heaven. You may have loved ones have gone ahead of you and they are waiting for you and they're worshipping Jesus. They have a better worship than we do because they worship Jesus face to face while we worship him by faith. So let's not take our Sundays for granted, huh? Yes. This is a very special time together as we are connected and attached back together as the body of Christ. Amen. Okay, are you ready for this for the message now? Okay, I want to start with one question and I want everybody to turn to each other and ask this question, all right? Very quickly, besides Jesus, don't say Jesus is the answer. Uh, don't give Jesus as the answer. Besides Jesus, what's the most important thing in your life? Okay, quickly now, ask your neighbor, what is the most important thing in your life? All right, quickly, 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 get the answer, got the answer? All right. Okay, let me hear it from you. Can you shout out the answers? Can you shout it out so I can hear some answers? Yes, what's that? With them? Family? Okay, what else? Come. <laughs> Myself. <laughs> okay, honest answers, yeah. Health, okay, whatever. What else? Shout it out, your answer. Peace and happiness. <laughs> okay, all your answers are right, really. But what I want is people. <laughs> some of you quite close, okay? Family. Yes, right. Everyone values people, don't we? I'm glad you didn't choose and say it's my car, it's my house, it's my hobbies, it's my work. The most important thing in our heart, in the heart of hearts, is people. We are made for connections. 
我们的被造是因为我们需要和其他人一起的来到联系沟通。And that's how God wired us, and that's what God values most. 这个就是上帝最珍，就是最珍惜的，就是一个的东西。Yeah, you know, he created the universe, and you can see how beautiful, how vast, how majestic the universe is. And yet, it is people, men and women, that he created, which is his highest of all creation. He said, "Man created this universe, this so majestic universe, but he most valued is this man and woman relationship." People are everywhere. People are everywhere. We see it, huh? When we go shopping, when we go market, when we go work, every. Everywhere, especially if you will live in a city, even Klang is getting more and more crowded. But it, yet, it's so easy for us to get so wrapped up in our own lives that we don't take time to really get to know people. 很多时候我们都看到四周围都是人，可是很多时候我们又没有花时间和人很好的去建立这个的关系。God never intended for us to live in isolation, but in community. 神没有把我们就算放在这个。独独孤一处，而是让我们一起的来到在这个社群当中。He designs us to crave and to thrive in relationship with one another。就是说，神要我们在我们的关系里面彼此的来到建立。Let me ask a question: What is community？ 如果你问的话，什么是这个的社区，或者是什么是教会的团体 ？We've got families and relatives as communities. We have Uh, we have work communities, we have、uh, neighborhood communities, and the latest is now we have social media community as well. Ah,、huh? 对，我们有时周围的我们这一些邻居的亲戚的家人工作的群体，最最现在最先进的就是我们有这个社交媒体这个的群体。But biblical community is when we do life with each other as believers, and where we grow and mature in our faith. 就是说，这一个真正在属灵方面的意思，就是呢，一群的人一起的来到，共同享有这个生活，这个生命呢，来到去达到这个属灵的目的。Yeah, so true. Okay, so community. All right, let's think now in terms of our church community. It's meant to enrich our lives. Amen. 教会的团体是要来到丰富我们这个的生命。What it does is brings different perspective for how we see life, the different ways of how we experience things. 就是说，是它能够帮助我们能够从不同的角度来到去观看我们这个基督徒的生命应当是如何的。It's very healthy to have different voices that we can learn from, ah. 那当然，我们可以去要要去接受不同的这些的声音。That's why we live our best lives when we experience the highs and the lows of our relationship with each other. 当我们能够在小组里面的时候，能够经历这些高低的不同的相处的时候，我们是在生命里面拥有最好最好的这个的经过。Yeah, it's not all the rah rah all the time. When we go through sometimes painful times together, when we we weep together, we cry together, we you know rejoice together with each other. Yeah, we share with each other. We interact with each other. We work with each other. 我们有时候彼此的分享，有我们有时候彼此来到经历那些有困难的时候，我们都彼此来到经过一切一切的环境。You just 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 think about how our Easter play and drama has has drawn us closer together with each other, isn't it? Just by acting and and working together to achieve that common goal of presenting Christ、uh, to our friends and in celebrating Christ, the resurrection of Christ on Easter. 就如我们复活节的这个的话剧一样，如何的这个话剧把我们联联系起来、联合起来，为了达到要把这个信息传达出去。How important? My next question is how important is community in the church? 就说第二个问题就是呢，对于教会的群体是有多重要呢？对于一个教会来说 ，I want you to know that community in church is vital because God created us to be connected to one another. 就是说，这一个的教育的群体是必须的，因为神创造我们是来到彼此的联系。That's the reason why He uses the analogy of the church as a body. 就是他就用这个教会作为一个字体，他用这个作为一个的比喻。Have you ever seen any body, all our body parts, all floating around? <笑>有没有看过一个人的身体，他的肢体是全部在漂浮着的呢？不在不同的部分呢 ？Huh? Ever? 
never. It's always intact, right? You're dead. Any part of your body is cut off, it's dead if it's separated. So in the same way, we need each other. Whether you realize or not, we need each other as a body of Christ. And we take our, our, our order from the head, which is Christ. <laughs> Now, if you look at the life of Jesus, for three years, three years he only has in his ministry, of course, how he wants to significantly impact the world. And how did he do it? He chose to do it through the community of 12 disciples. And he traveled with this twelve, he ate with this twelve, he communicated and served and ministered with this twelve. He could have chosen the most efficient group, huh? The top ranking people, but he chose just common fishermen because what he wants is a connected group of people that he can work through them. Let's look at a scripture from the Bible, okay? How the early church believers live and do community together. Acts 2, verse 42. Alright, here it says, Every believer was faithfully devoted to following the teachings of the apostles, their hearts were mutually linked to one another, sharing communion and coming together regularly for prayer. Yeah, so you can see that the church community, even in the early church, it's not that they just come for worship and uh, hear the preaching of the word and that's it, they go home and they don't see each other anymore throughout the rest of the week. No, in fact, it goes further. I don't have that verse, but in verse 46, it says that they met daily in the temple courts and, and in one another's home to celebrate communion and they share meals together, joyful hearts and tender humility. That was the scripture. So God wants us to be devoted, not just to the worship on a Sunday, but sharing meals with each other, the fellowship that we experience with each other throughout the week. And that was the model of the community of the New Testament church. And that is the model God wants us to pattern after, to follow after. Okay. I want you to know that before Jesus even came, before even the church was birthed, in Genesis 1-1, right at the beginning, when the word God was mentioned, the word God in the Hebrew word means Elohim. In the beginning was God Before anything else existed God existed And God is in a plural form Although its meaning often is used as a singular uh, meaning Next week you're going to hear pastor and he's going to explain a little bit about the Trinity huh? to help you understand the concept of the God we worship. There is only one God and there's only one Lord but he operates in three persons. 
就是说，我们只有一位的真神，一位的真主，可是他以这个三位一体的形式。And we all know he operates as God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, right? 他是有这一个的神父、神子、神灵这个形式。We can't understand with our finite mind how it works. 这个主是不不能够通过我们一般这个人的思想而去了解。So I want you to know that even at the beginning of time, God operated in community. 就是说，从以前开始的时候，神已经用这一个团体的形式来到去运作。They created out of the community that they shared with each other。就是说，他就是创造了这个的群体，来到彼此的分享。So community is really the so central to the heart of God。就是说这一个的群体，这个团体就是神的，这个他的核心。Because God Himself is community, and He created us to be like Him, to be in community. 就是他创造我们的时候，使我们像他一样，在这个团体里面来到生活。Now you understand why, at the heart core of all our hearts, community is so important, right? 现在你知道，就是为什么在我们的。心里面呢，这个的团体的生活是如此的重要。During the COVID lockdown, when everyone has to be separated, you know how bad it was. Huh? After the whole thing was over, and they have so many、uh, results, statistics of people going into depression and、uh, committing suicide,、uh, as well as having mental illness. 当这个新冠肺炎过去之后呢，有多少的这个统计计算到了之后，看到有多少人掉在这个的沮丧里面，掉在这个自杀的这种的情况里面。And if you thought that no, no, I'm okay, what I actually enjoyed my、uh, lockdown, that is because it was the grace of God that kept you during that time. Hey. 你你可能讲到我在这个的期间，我我我很好，我我很喜欢这个时间。可是这个是神的恩典保守了你。We were still connected online. Thank God for the online ministry that was birthed, and we were still connected in a way, although not physically. 是我们仍然的在线上能够和弟兄姐妹每一位保持做联系。I believe that was the The、uh, strategy of the enemy that tries to pull people apart to make people feel like, oh, I I survived one year. I didn't need anybody, so I don't think I need anybody、uh, to survive anyway. 对，就是我们来说，其实这个是，就是这个撒旦的这个的策略。我一年都没有见过任何人，我认为我可以不需要见人。That is a lie of the enemy, the devil. 那一个就是撒旦这个敌人给过我们这个的这个的谎话。He wants to separate. Us in order to destroy us, to destroy the society. 就说他要来到分离我们，来到去毁灭这个的团体。Okay, so understand how important community it is. We are wired, we are designed for that. 就说要了解为什么这个教会的团体是这么的重要。Now, if community is so important, how do we get better at building? Our community or our church community. 既然是这么的重要，我们如何的要来到去建立这一个的团体更好呢 ？Now in our, I love the my church Sunday service, ah,、huh? the campaign we want, and we hear the message from every one of them, and this is a common thread that went through every one's answer is that everyone is important, everyone matters in this church. 当我听了三个星期这一个的座谈之后呢，就是说，其实每一个人都这么重要，每一个人都有这个的关系。Everyone is welcome here, feel so welcome in this church.、Yeah? 每个人都，我们都非常，每个人走进这个的教会。I know I heard Jennifer say such the first time he she stepped into this church, there's such a warm welcome she felt. 就好像我们杰尼弗姐妹，她跟我们说，就是说，当我她她去踏入这个教会的时候，她觉得这个教会是非常热情的一个教会。And the answers are we heard from over chaos side, and here is like most of them say, church is like a home. 就是很多人，无论是巴生还是吉隆坡，他们讲的，就是教会就好像如一个家一样。That's a, that doesn't mean now we just、uh, don't cook. We just go to our church members' house and eat, lah. 
<laughs> 代表说我们不去教会的弟兄姐妹的家里面用餐。Just show up anytime you want. Oh, I wish we could do that. <laughs> I would be the first one. I would be in Josephine's house. <laughs> and Pat Day's house because they cook the best food. Ah, we go to our Pat Day 姐妹或者是 Josephine 姐妹的家。Family one, family one. Okay. We are all one family. But yeah, we are family. Yes,、uh, in a spiritual family. By spiritual family, we do also have our natural family. 就是说，除了这个属灵的家庭外，也我们也有这个肉身，我们很自然的这个肉身的家庭。And I want you to、uh, compare the two, huh, and see the similarity. Just like on, you know, when we invite guests into our house,、uh, how do you prepare? You prepare your home by, huh? I don't know about you. We cook the best food, right? We take out the best plates and cutleries and cups and things like that. And my husband very religiously every time must light candles and put incense so the the whole house smells nice, huh? 就是就好像我们邀请客人来到我们的家的时候，我们是煮最好的，把最好的碗碟拿出来。我的丈夫就把这一些神之府蜡烛也点起来，让人觉得有一种很温、很很，就是很热情的感觉。That's why our church Sunday is so important for us to show hospitality. 所以我们在教会里面，我们也很热情的去款待这一些来的人。That's what I loved about the church is the welcoming time when we go around shaking hands. 我们也很喜欢这一些当呃别人彼此的来到问安的时候。Yeah, even that just that 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 touch, that handshake, the hug, it really makes a whole difference、uh, coming back to church. 虽然是很简单的握手和简单的拥抱，可是。Some of you may not like the hugging part. It's okay, all right. You don't need to hug anybody if you don't feel comfortable hugging. We have told some of the some of the leaders and say, no, I I cannot I cannot do this. It's okay, it's okay. 如果有些人你不习惯这一种拥抱的方式呢，是是是是没有问题的。Shake hands is okay. It's good enough. 握手是已经是很足够了。Yeah, all right. Because this is a family. We respect each other as well. So we we prepare all this while we prepare Sunday. So much of work is put into this is because we want the people who come the first time to feel welcome, to feel accepted in this church. 就说这一些这么多的准备功夫，是使到人来到的时候呢，他们是被尊重，他们是被接受的。I want you to know that as a church, we need to welcome people. Huh? Together, together as a church, we have to intentionally welcome people. 就是说，身为一个教会，我们要很刻意、很特意的去来到欢迎每一个进到来这里的人。People may not even remember what I say, what I preach, what the preacher preach on the pulpit, but they remember how they were treated when they, how they feel when they step into this church. 所以一些来的人，他可能不记得，就是说讲员所讲的东西，可是他们肯定记得他如何的被对待。So we are all responsible to welcome people. Amen. We 每个人都有这个责任来到去款待招待别人 It's not just the steward's job, ah,、huh? who are standing at the door. It's not just the pastors, the leaders. It's all our job. And I have to say that you have done an excellent job of welcoming each other. 就是说，这个不可不不是只是招待员的工作，而是我们每一个人的责任 Amen. Amen. Wonderful. Next thing, important thing, how we can build community is the connect groups. 第二就是呢，讲到我们如何能够去建立这个团体呢，就是我们的小组工作。If you stay on, if your first time here, after the preaching is not bye bye, let's all go home. We have、uh, everyone break up into smaller groups where you will share with one another. 对于那些新人来说呢，就是如果你是第一次的话，我们每一次讲完到这，我们都有一个分分成这个小组来做出讨论。You'll be assigned to a group, or you can join a group, whatever, you, whichever you choose. But you will be given a group where you can,、uh, in a smaller group where you can、uh, share and where people can、uh, care for you, where they can、uh, pray with you and、uh, explain to you what the scripture is all about or what the message was all about. 这个小组的工作就是呢，能够让你能够在这个小组当中有这个祷告，有个彼此扶持，然后去分享这个神的话语的机会。And it's there where we create or make great friendship, huh? Develop great friendship with each other as well. Amen. 也能够让你能够去建立这个健康的一个的这个小组的关系。Because we're going to face crisis, we're going to face battles out there in life. And that's why we need one another. 就是因为我们在这个教会的外面里面，有时我们会面对危机，我们面对征战，所以我们在
And that that was God's purpose for our intention why he put us all together. So that we can help each other, we can heal each other. So how can we get better at building community besides uh, welcoming each other on a Sunday besides connect groups? Uh, I got this point that says we got to work hard at uh, our heart, work on our heart and our responses and develop a culture of celebration. What do I mean culture or celebration? means we celebrate everybody. We celebrate each other. And then we uh, also celebrate everything that God is doing among us. We celebrate every testimony that we hear, every victory that we uh, have experienced, or miracle, or healing, or transformation story that you have in your life. We celebrate together. Weddings, you know, when Edward and Sokwan, I must say that they are such generous people. Uh, they invited every single one of you. I'm like, wow, this man is truly a pastor, a heart for people. Uh, everyone, even people who have left, people who have only come once a while, and every single one that he knows of. Almost he won't interpret. <笑><笑><笑> Yes, who wants to interpret some more? No? <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, I tell you, it was such a great wedding. All of us, it was like church, like somebody mentioned. It was literally like church. Yeah, so we are so proud that, you know, every baby shower, baby dedication, we have all sorts of things. We just, even you celebrate, you bring makan for us, or for your birthday, you throw makan for us. Huh? Yeah, I mean, no pressure on all of you. Huh? That, that doesn't mean that now, from now onwards, all of you have to celebrate. You, you have to invite the whole church for your wedding. You say, oh dear, you mean that's, oh, we'll be running away from this church now. <laughs> we, are, we are going to have a birthday celebration for the whole church. No, 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 but that, that shows that you want to share your life with the church. Huh? Yeah, if you can afford good, if you can't afford, don't try to impress anybody. Huh? Just bring a cake if you just want to celebrate with the church, just a cake. It's also good. <laughs> So so can we do that? Let let develop this culture of celebration. I learned this from my husband. Honestly, I came from a family we never celebrated. I have never had any celebration for birthday. Oh, oh, I expected you all to say, oh, some sympathy, <laughs> all right. <laughs> but that's it. I, I didn't come from, a, like I said, uh, those who know, I uh, preach many times the family that I grew up in. Never, but then I'm married to a man. Pastor Joe come from a family of 11. I tell you, they have so many Party after party, birthday celebration after birthday celebration. No matter how poor they may be, they will make sure there is a party. Yeah, they'll go out for picnic together and they'll do all the fun things together. That's why he's such a fun guy, huh? So he's a pastor 
I am the boring type. <laughs> 我是比较比较比较沉闷的。And、uh, that's what he created our home to be. Every party, I remember from those days. Even though in first pioneer the church we were so poor, we couldn't afford anything. But we, he will make sure that the girls will have every year a party thrown for them. 就是说，虽然在当时我们刚刚开荒教会的时候没有什么钱，可是呢，为了我们的女儿，每一个都有这个家庭里面的这个的 party。We need to, we need to develop that because the kingdom God is a party。因为我们需要培养这种这样的文化，因为在天国就是如此。Do you know that when Jesus comes back, we all going to be invited to the marriage lamb, or what what you call it,、uh, marriage supper? It's going to be a party. When Jesus comes back, he comes back again. So there will be this kind of wedding party. Hmm. 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 就是曾经我们有一段日子是比较沉静的，不过现在好像这种这样的气氛已经开始在活跃过来。We got lazy, y e a h After the COVID. 啊，在这个肺炎之后，我们有一点懒惰。啊，哇 ，Everybody were very hardworking, cooking for the family. After COVID, lazy already. No need to run. We all eat out, and we got a bit lazy in meeting together. 比如说，在肺炎这个时刻的时候，我们都会在家里面煮。可是肺炎过，我们就到外头去吃了。So you may be asking, I'm so busy, okay, Pastor? I've got work that is like up to here, and I've got like family to take care of. Like, where would I have time to some more、uh, develop relationship with the church? Community. Ah, 牧师，我已经是工作已经是很忙了，我其他的事情都很忙了，我哪里还有时间和教会呢有这种这样的活动呢 ？Let me give you two reasons why we should work on church community. 那我给你两个原因，为什么你需要建立你教会里面这个团体的活动 ？Community is really good for all of us. 这个团体，这个教会团体对我们每个人都是好的。Let's see the point up there. It says community expresses God's heart. For others and for us. 就是说，在这里呢，讲到了教会团体呢，表达了神的心意。Okay, one scripture. Okay, look with me. Colossians chapter three, verse twelve and fourteen. It says here, since God chose you to be the holy people He loves, you must clothe yourself with tender-hearted mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness, patience. Make allowance for each other's faults and forgive one another who offends you. Remember, the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds us all together in perfect harmony. 哥罗西书三章十二到十四节，所以你们既然是神所拣选的，是圣洁蒙爱的人，就要存怜悯的心肠，恩慈、谦卑、温柔和忍耐。如果有人对别人有牵扰，总要彼此宽容，彼互相宽恕。主总要饶恕你们，你们怎样怎样饶恕人，在这一切之上还有爱心，爱心是联系全德的。When we practice all these qualities of compassion and kindness and Forgiving and patience. What we are doing is we are better at reflecting who Christ is. When we come to practice these qualities, these qualities of kindness and patience, we can see Jesus is a kind of person. Because God is forgiving, and so we should be forgiving. Because God is a kind of person. God is so patient with us, so that's why we are patient with others. 是因为神对我们有这个的忍耐，所以我们对别人也要有这个的忍耐。So these things need to happen in our community, and the first reason why we need to work on church community because community fights selfishness. 为什么我们要建立我们这个教育的团体？因为这个教育的团体能抵挡这个自私的心。We all can be selfish individuals, don't we? 我们可以是一个非常自私的人。All we do is put ourselves first rather than put others first. 很多时候我们都是把手自己放在首要，而不是把别人放在首要。And God puts us in community so that we will have the opportunity and privilege of serving one another. So, when God puts us in community, He puts us in community so that we can serve one another. 
praying for one another. 能够彼此的带到。Encouraging one another, 能够彼此的勉励 ，and that will overcome what selfishness. 这样就能够胜过这一个自私的心。So we become less self-focused and we become more people-focused. 这样我们就不会以自我为中心，而是以别人为中心。Now maybe some of you don't have a problem with that, but you have another challenge. 可能你没有这个的问题，可是你另外一个的挑战。Maybe you're not self-focused or prideful or whatever, huh? But maybe you feel like you don't have anything to offer others. 可能你的你的挑战就是呢，你没有任何的东西能够去给过他人。I don't have anything of value that I can bring to the table, huh? 我没有任何有价值的东西能够放在，就是说能够能能能够去祝福其他的人。So what do you do? You hold back. You hold back from the community. You hold back and you isolate. 就说你就你就你就呃呃脱离了自己，你自己在孤独一处。So I want to give you the second reason why community building community is so important because community cures rejection. 我要给你第二个的理由，为什么这个经历团体这么重要？因为这个教会的团体能够医治这个拒绝。In a community, you discover you do have a place in this community. 这个教会的团体是要让你知道，你在这个团体里面，你有一个的位置，你是其中的一份子。That people do value you. 是别人是珍惜您的同在。Okay, you have a purpose that God has put inside of you. 就是说，你有这一个存在的这一个神给过你这个存在的价值。God has called you to bring something into this community that is of value, that is of worth. 神要把这个有关的这个的价值，要借助你带进这个团体里面。Another question we always people will say, what if I get hurt? 第另外一个问题就是，如果我受到伤害怎么办？啊 ，what if people hurt me? 如果人伤害我怎么样 ？Well, that's going to happen in any community. To tell you the truth, huh? That you may get hurt or you will get hurt. 就是说，在团体里面呢，一个人受到伤害，或者是你将会受到伤害，这个是一般会发生的事情。Somehow we have this idea that we shouldn't happen in church, ah,、uh, can happen anywhere else except in church. 可是最错的就是呢，我们认为这个事情可以在任何地方发生，不过不会在教会里面发生。Why? Maybe because we have such high expectation, ah,、uh, from Christians, don't we? 因为我们对基督徒的这个要求标的非常的高 ，more than from other people 了，超过一切在外面的。We expect a lot more from each other。我们对彼此的要求都很高。We forget we need to remember the same way that we ah、uh, ah、uh, want to be forgiven. We need to forgive people who may have disappointed you. 可是我们忘记了，我们一好像我们一就是说很想被原谅一样，我们也是要先去原谅、宽恕他人。Let me ask you. If you are hurt by your mom and or dad, or hurt by your spouse, or if your children hurt you, do you tell your children, "I'm not staying. I'm out of here now." If you are hurt by your mother, anybody like that? You are hurt by your mother, you are hurt by your child, you are hurt by your loved one. You say, "I want to leave this place." God love, of course. That's why there's divorce and breakup in relationships. Huh? Where one party says, "I'm not going to accept accept this anymore." Huh? 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 就是说，这这好像 Irene 所说的，就是说，这个的款式是在婚姻里面，在一段关系里面最重要的一个，我们所需要守住的。Forgiveness is so important. Holy Spirit is going to help us to learn to forgive. 圣灵一直在提醒着我们，叫我们来到去原谅。Amen. Letting go of offenses. 让我们从这一个被人冒犯的情况走出来。Let's practice it until we're so good at it. It's not the size of the offense that is that matters. It's how long do you keep your offenses? 不是那一个的被冒犯的情况有多大，而是你这个就是说你认为被自己被得罪的，你能够受得多久 ？Let me illustrate. Ah,、uh. just imagine. Ah,、uh, if I hold on to this bottle, ah,、uh, for one hour, is it going to hurt me? 
就说，如果你比如说你这一个的水平，如果你只就是说，你你你抓住他一个小时，你认为会不会痛呢 ？Not much lah, one hour, huh? Can tahan. What if I hold on to this bottle for one whole day? What happens? Your hands going to ache, right? Holding on to this. 如果你手拿着这一瓶的水，拿着整天的话，我相信你的手会痛。What if you hold it on to it for one week? Oh my goodness! It might just paralyze your hand. <laughs> 如果你拿着这个水一个星期的话，你的手可能会瘫痪。What if you hold on to it for the whole month or the whole year? 如果你抓住这个水一个月或者是一年的话 ，Come on now. It's going to kill you, okay? It can kill you. 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 Quickly, let it go. Let it go. 就说，如果你今天你还是抓住一些被人冒犯的情况，你要赶快的把它放下。Why? Because you will be in a prison for somebody else. Not the person in in your prison. You are in a prison. 因为你会围住得罪你的那一个人，你把自己放在这个的这个这个监牢里面。That's right. So we got to learn to practice to forgive quickly. 我们需要来到学习，赶快的去来到。对，赶快的去原谅。We got to teach our children, our kids, to learn to forgive quickly, also. Ah. 我们需要我们教导我们的孩子，赶快的去来到原谅，去宽恕。Why not? Parents, children come and complain. Ah, angry with the brother. What do you say? Huh? Say I'm sorry now. Say sorry. And they have to learn. At first, stubborn, don't want to say. Ah, say sorry to your brother now. Sorry. Sorry. 就好像做父母亲的，你有你的孩子来到得罪其他的弟兄姐妹的时候，你要叫你那个的得罪他人的，你要叫他来到讲对不起。That's the best thing you can teach your children, ah,、uh, is to learn to say sorry and repent. 那个就是我们其中一个可以教导我们孩子最好的，就是要讲对不起，要要回到悔改。The worst one is when the parents have to say sorry to the children. Ah.、Uh, <laughs> 最糟糕的就是父母亲要对孩子讲对不起。I'm sorry, yeah. Papa and mommy behave so badly in front of you. 你说我很对不起，就是说爸爸妈妈在你的面前。That would teach them faster than all the things that you try to correct, tell them, huh? That's going to happen because that's what's going to happen when they go out there. 这种事情会教导孩子学得更快，因为这个事情在世界的外面发生的更多。Forgiveness is the greatest gift that you can give to yourself or to others. 这宽恕呢，是你能够给予自己最好最好的礼物。Look at the example of Jesus. 看看耶稣。He was betrayed by his closest, closest disciples. 他被他最亲、最亲、最亲的门徒出卖。Not strangers, ah,、uh, his. Closest and dearest disciples. He is the most, he is the most dearest disciple. He knows what it's like. He knows what it's like. He doesn't have to ask. He cannot. He didn't ask us to do something that he didn't do it himself. He didn't ask us to do something that he didn't do it himself. He didn't ask us to do something that he didn't do it himself. He didn't ask us to do something that he didn't do it himself. He didn't ask us to do something that he didn't do it So, 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 <laughs> 就说我其实是想这样想叫神来到去去处罚他，在我的心里面。I tell you, but when you pray a blessing over the person that hurts you or do wrong to you, it ends that bitterness that robs you of your destiny and future. 就说当你能够向你得罪你那一个人祷告，能够祝福他的时候，那就会使到那一个你自己里面的这个的苦毒就会完全的断绝。So I pray that all of us As families, we'll learn this 
and we'll learn it. And we will be families that will thrive because we're going to plant ourselves in the house of God. And we will not just be faithful, we will be fruitful. God will promise that we will be fruitful. I need this church as much as you need this church. Do you know that? You think that I'm strong. I'm telling you, my family and me and we are strong. Because we are planted in the house of God. Jesus prophesied in Matthew. I want to close with this revelation. I want to see how important church is to you. Sorry, I didn't give you this, uh, but it's going to be. You will be able to do it anyway. Jesus says, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. That means death and hell cannot overcome the church of God. Hallelujah. And the word the church means ecclesia. In the Greek word, it means gathering or the call out ones. And we are called out to do the work of the Lord. What are we doing when we are gathering, when we are coming together and we are connected as God's church? God is saying hell will not be able to do what they try to do the way they want it to happen because of the church. Hallelujah. Because God has given us, all of us, the keys of the kingdom. The power and authority to bind and to lose. To lock and to unlock the kingdom of heaven in the, on earth. That's why it's so important in this new season that God is gathering us again. That we need to unlock God's kingdom plans that He has for us in this season. And you gather with this intention that we are going to destroy. The church is going to destroy the works of the enemy that he's doing on earth. Because that's what Jesus promised. He says in Matthew 18, 20, for where two or three are gathered together in my name, Jesus said, I am in there. You are going to experience Jesus when you gather in his name. The door, a portal is open when Jesus is the Lord of our lives. And a presence and the glory and a power of God will come onto earth because of you. I want, I want you to know what a big difference you make in this church. When we gather to pray, when we gather to worship, when we gather to declare the word of the Lord, when we gather to have communion, something powerful happens here. Jesus manifests and show up. And the world is going to see him. But it's not just going to be here. When we leave these four walls of the church, 
when we go out to minister at your workplace in your homes. Bring this glory of God wherever we go. His joy, His peace, His His the hope, the prayer with us. And we are releasing it into the atmosphere outside. Stand with me, church. Stand with me right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to know how important you are as a church. Jesus, God has called us, Jesus has called us to be light bearers. You are the light of the world. And as a light, it's not meant to be put under a bucket, is it? It's meant to put on a table. So that the light can be seen. So the light can penetrate through the darkness. And remove the darkness. That's what God's called us to be, the light. A city on a hill. How many of us say I'm going to be that light that shines? Amen. How many of us say I want to be the church, the ecclesia of, of Jesus? That my life will make a difference in my home, in my community, in my neighborhood, in my workplaces, everywhere that I go. Hallelujah. You will not be ashamed of Jesus. God is no more going to be a secret that you keep. You are going to be going public with Jesus. Young men, when you go to school, young kids, when you're going to school, you are going to shine right at your school. Don't wait until you're older. You are the light. Open your mouth and start declaring. Start praying. Start speaking. God's given you the same authority. And you open and then be bold to speak the word of the Lord. And God will manifest. Get with another Christian. I remember as a young child after I was filled with the Holy Spirit. I didn't know which other Christian I managed to find one more Christian And together we prayed Upon this scripture as two or three are gathered in his name He will be in the midst of us And the two of us we prayed and God worked miracles through us We started sharing the love of Jesus And I believe in the power of two The agreement of two Maybe it could be your wife, it could be your office colleague, another Christian, whatever it is. Just get somebody to agree with you. I want my school to know Jesus. And you know that that year is the year that God used us. To bring so many of our students to the to the Lord. This is a time, church. I'm speaking to young people. You have the best opportunity to share the gospel. Can you 
Can we pray together? <laughs> Are we ready to unite together to pray? I want you to pray with me. Follow after me this prayer, huh? And make this your prayer. Ready? Right, everybody open your mouth now. You're going to pray with me, huh? Say, Father in heaven. In the name of Jesus. We come into your presence. We thank you for the church. The body of Christ. We recognize and honor Jesus, you are Lord. You are the head of the church. We recognize that every one of us that we are made by you and we are made for you. Thank you for saving us and calling us. So, Thank you for the fellowship and community. We can experience here. We call this place blessed. We will succeed. We will win. You plant us together. So that we will thrive and flourish. So we come together right now. In agreement. In the wonderful and mighty name of Jesus. You said where two or three are gathered in your name. You will be in our midst. And Lord, you are here right now. So Lord, we pray that you release any anger, every bad feeling, every resentment, every wrong attitude before you now. We release and forgive everyone who has wronged us. We declare that we are protected by the blood of Jesus. No enemy plan can succeed. We declare your church shall prosper. Lord, build us Empower us To advance your kingdom Lord, you call us to be salt You call us to be light You call us to be a city on a hill To be seen and not to be hidden so let your glory and be seen in this church. Outside is four walls. We thank you, Lord. That we are one mind and one heart. We declare there is no division in this church. That we are perfectly joined to Jesus. We are one with Jesus. We ask you, Lord. Pour out a fresh flow of your spirit upon us. We decree and we declare right now that we will learn to walk in love. And we will walk in the power of the Holy Spirit. And we declare this church is blessed. It's growing in numbers. And maturity in glory. We believe and we receive everything we prayed. And we give you glory. We give you praise. In advance. In the precious, wonderful. Mighty name of Jesus. 
所以宝贵耶稣的名祷告。How many of you can shout Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, you give a big shout to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I believe and I receive, and there's something is happening right here, right now. That all of us are going to receive some. We receive this, and we leave this place one in Christ. Amen. 当你离开这个地方的时候，你与主接的时候，奇妙的事情要发生。God bless you. I feel such a strong anointing this morning、uh, as we pray together. 当我们一起祷告的时候，我感觉到神那主的恩膏在我们的当中。Something happened in the spirit realm here. 在这个属灵的境界里面，有事情发生了。When the enemy has tried to come against our church, I feel that broken in the name of Jesus. 就是、说，奉耶稣的名，一切在这一些撒旦的计划都要被粉碎。This is the church of Jesus Christ. 因为这个是耶稣的教会。Hallelujah, Hallelujah. God bless you, church. We're going to break into our our,、uh, our connect groups now. Have coffee and drinks, and then after that,、uh, please connect group leaders. Don't forget, and zone leaders. We're going to have our meeting, ah,、huh? after our connect group. God bless you.、Uh, come on, bring on the sound. Bring on the music. Bring on the lights. Bring on the coffee, and we're going to celebrate together. One, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you.